Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun we take a good look at Transformers Generation Legacy Selects Cyclonus and Nightstick. And this is just a generic box for Selects and we see a nice outline or blueprint of Cyclonus. Kind of continues here on the other side and not much to look on this side and just about that but we do have a sticker and it is completely sealed so let's get cyclonus and nightstick out of the packaging and we take the blade and always cut away from yourself always cut away all right let's open this up oh nice all right let's see if this does this actually come out completely come out Right. Oh, instructions. Oh, papers. Oh, stickers. And you know what we say? Goodbye, box. And let's free Cyclonus, Nightstick, and all these other accessories free from the packaging. Here we have Cyclonus at a packaging. And he actually is a darker color than what we have gotten in Kingdom. And this is without the stickers. So he's kind of plan looking right now. Um, but I love the light piping to his eyes. They look so evil. I just love that. It's so awesome. I love the Decepticon symbol that we have here. I like, was it a transparent orange plastic, some sorts right there. I don't know if it's just paint. We have nice blue paint and he's just pretty much purple from there and some gray here we have the select cyclonus but we just take this out of the way here is the kingdom of cyclonus so we can see that there is very much of a difference here in color wise and i don't know which one i like the most but i like them both in their own ways and here we have cyclonus with all the stickers applied so we can see that we have stickers here on the shoulders i placed the sticker on there some here on the thigh and here on the legs and some here on the wings and a few right there so Stickers are all right. Gives it a little bit more of a pop and shine. All right. I wanted to bring in Nightstick. And I believe this is another uh, weaponizer, I think. Or is it Battlemaster? I think it's a Battlemaster. Um, but it looks like he has a nice orange face with an orange visor. With the black helps uh, to break up the gray. I just wish this nub was able to fold in so it's not really sticking out other than that i like it uh the articulation to this little guy uh, there is no head articulation you can rotate the arms 360 you can bring the arms out that far there is no really waist articulation um but due to transformation there's a little bit of it but we're not going to focus that on right now. See, leg articulation. You can bring the leg that far back. You can bring the legs that far up. And they're on the ball joint, so you can kind of get the splits out of this guy. Or what's really nice is that you can actually come back here, take this off, and since he has a port, he can actually wield that gun. And that's not bad. That's pretty cool. But we're just going to put that back. And this guy doesn't really have that much of uh, articulation. So there's a little bit of pose limited, very limited posability to this guy. But let's go into the transformation. And we're just going to flip this all the way up. We're going to come here to the legs. And here in between, we just want to bring this up completely. And then we want to bring the legs together and now with these tabs we'll go into those slots so that should go in 
them on. There we go. And here on the side, we have some slots and we have some tabs. So we just get that and place that on the side. And now we have Nightstick in his gun mode. And we can actually have Cyclonus actually wield him. And that is pretty cool. I mean, even though that Cyclonus already has another gun, and we can just double up on that. That's that's really cool. I like that. What I also like, because it also comes with blast effects, and I always like to take this one and actually place it onto Nightstick. I always thought that always worked well. Just like that. And for actually for Cyclonus's gun. So he has some awesome firepower right there that is just awesome i love the play value to this let's get down to articulation so you can rotate the head 360 and it is on a nice kind of sort of ball joint and neck joint which is really nice you can rotate the arms 360 you can bring the arms that far out there's even a bicep swivel there is an elbow joint, and there's even wrist articulation. And he does have waist articulation, 360, not bad. Let's see, you can bring the leg, whoop, you can bend, there you go. That can bend more, but either way, you can get the leg that far back. You can bring the leg that far up. Maybe if I, some tight joints there. There we go, that far up. And there is a bend at the knee. There we go. And there's even, come on, that's a stiff joint. There's a thigh swivel. And there's even ankle articulation. So you can get Cyclonus in some really good poses. To transform Cyclonus, we're going to start with the arms. So what we're going to do, let's see if we just we just need to bring this up. There we go. And what we want to do is bring the fists in this way. And we just want to close that up. And if you even wanted to, you can even pretend that he has a arm cannon, which is pretty cool. I like that. But let's do the same thing here on the other side. Let's bring these out, flip this over, and collapse that. Let's come to the back here, and we want to bring these down. And then we want to bring these out. So let's get these out of the way. And what we want to do with here at the hands, we want to bring these over. So we want these wings to point up. And then here we have a slot and a tab, and we just want to attach those together. So let's turn this around. And same thing, slot and tab. There we go. And let's go ahead and start with the legs. And let's open this up and fold in the feet, bring this out, fold back, and fold in. Okay, so on this one, we want to fold out, fold in the feet, bring this out, fold, and push in, and clip them together. And you want to make sure with the knees that you're pushing them all the way, and well, it's better off of doing it individually, push them all the way in. There we go, as far as you can get them in. There we go, just like that. So now we can come here to the shoulders, bring these out, and what you want to try to do is try to, come on, there we go. Get them, the arms out of this way, just like that. So we can actually open this all up. Bring back the head. 
There we go. And here we have the landing gear. But we are just going to open this part up so we can bring out this part of the nose cone. And we're just going to close everything up. And then we're going to open this up. And let's see if that would help. Yes, let's bring that out. Close that up. And then we're just going to close everything else up. But we also want to make sure that we're going to be turning that around. There we go. Close that back up. And now we want to get these out to the side. There we go. And now we want to make sure we get that up. Push that in. And get this off to the side. And now we want to bring these wings back. There is a tab, there is a slot, and you just want to plug that right in and do the same thing here on the other side. And now we have Cyclonus fully transformed into his awesome starship mode. I actually like this. This is really nice. Uh, I mean, I just wish that the stickers were actually painted on. I would have preferred that. But this is looking really nice. And I and I do have to say, even though I said I wish it was painted, but the stickers really help make this pop more. And I really do appreciate that. Uh, just everything about this is just awesome. And even you can place blast effects in there. So if you had his blast effects, you can do something like that. Or with the other one, try to... Well, not really. Not unless you take that part off and you stick that in there so you can do something like that if you wanted to but that's awesome you have options and in the instructions says you can take his weapon and place it right on top there not bad or you can just take nightstick and just place them right on top i don't know which do you think is better and let's see if we can bring out the landing gears there we go. Hey, there we go. So we have the landing gears out. Not bad. And just place them down just like that. It's looking really nice. Whoops. Landing gear failed. There we go. That will stay better. Not bad. I really do like that. That is really nice. To transform Cyclonus. We're actually going to start and fold in the landing gears. Let's come here and bring these out. There we go. And we also want to make sure that we're going to bring those up completely. So let's... Come on, there we go. Those are completely up, just what we need. And now we can bring this out of the way. And now we can fold that up just like that come here split the legs and we also want to try to see if we can bring them out and push them back in and now bring this part out and flip up bring out the feet flip this in and close on that and let's go ahead and bring out the legs a bit want to open up this bring that out bring out the feet close up on this and fold it in and now we want to bring this all out there we go and now what we want to do is open up this part of the nose we want to have sure that that's closed in close that in then open up this and fold this in completely and then close up on that then flip this in close up on that close up on that and bring this over to the shoulders close up on that and let's bring these away from the arms and let's fold this over and let's fold this back so let's bring this wing down and let's bring this whole wing back and now we can turn here 
bring this out, open up the hands so we can flip the hands out, close back up on that, fold out the hands, bring them out, and fit them right that way. And there we go. And now we have Cyclonus fully transformed into his robot mode. My final thoughts on Cyclonus and Nightstick. This is an awesome set. It really is. But with my problem with my issue of this copy is that with Cyclonus, his arms is very loose in the shoulders and sometimes in the elbows. The only tight joints is really in the knees, which is sometimes a pain, but it's mostly, I wish there was more of a tightness when it came to the shoulders, cause this is just way too loose. And that's just a bit of a shame. If it wasn't for that issue whatsoever, I still support that this is an awesome set. I just also like these battle masters. I think that's what they're called. I think they're called battle masters. So, I still think it is a fun set, and, and it is. And Cyclonus is just an awesome mold. It, the transformation is just so much fun. It really is. This has been a joy. Not only that, but I also find Cyclonus a nightstick shelf-worthy. Well, with that said, I just have to thank you all for watching. If you could just do me a favor and just hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shelf worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day!